How are you, gentlemen? It has definitely been interesting in Fourth of July week this week. So I'm still working on a lot of videos for later in the month. Got something I want to get out in about nine days. And I also really want to get my Pokemon Legends Arceus, as four of you, done and by I, the 28th. Have it ready to post, recorded, and uploaded by then. So, and let's. So, I might as well give you like a gaming vlog or what I'm playing, what other video game events are coming out. Like, as per usual, I've been going, starting with what I really like, the good, then work down on all those other events that are a bit less savory. So, let's begin. So, starting with the Switch, there are. Got a stealth drop of several new games to come to Sega Genesis Online. Fine. And here are my brief thoughts on all of them. Um, let's talk about Thumbnail I've Chosen. And Zero Wing has come to the platform. And even though, as a side scrolling shoot em up, it's definitely not the best one ever, nor is it the worst. However, it's a hilariously awful translation. Which features such Englishy gems as somebody says up the bomb, we get signal means we can turn on, on. It is sometimes a gem like that was not meant to disappear, indeed not. Mega Man: The Wily Wars, there's a Genesis reversion of the first three Mega Man games, as well as a Wily Tower Boss Rush mode, and. A very unique interpretation of three of the best installments of the series, like of the classic ones, and while well, I got a physical release in Japan and Europe, in the States, it was initially distributed via the Shega Channel service, which was very... Those unfamiliar with it, it's basically a very early version of cloud gaming, I mean, which audiences were, for the most part, not ready for, I mean, or I mean, in many ways, a lot of people still aren't quite ready for it, I mean, so... Let's keep going. Comic Zone. This side scrolling beat em up was definitely very much of its time. It's a tough game, but a very fun one at that. And to venture through the pages of his own comic book, artist sketch turning on with his pet rat roadkill. Oh, must stop the villain of his creation from eliminating him. I mean, could that be any less than my subscription? I think not. Last, and I might honestly take least, is Target Earth, also known as the Start Salt Suit Lanos. I'm familiar with the other Salt Suit titles, and I could not really get into this one if I'm being totally honest, so... Yeah. What I can get into is the next Nintendo 64 games coming to platform. I was pleasantly surprised when the official feeds his reveal that Pokemon Puzzle League will be coming to N64 Online on July 15th, so next week basically. And the Japanese side of the will be getting the first two custom Roro games, so imagine that. On my easy person wish list and some of my wild cards are definitely going to be enjoying the service, so I'm very pleased to hear that. I just gonna might can't even imagine, so I don't really have other videos on those once they go live, so let's continue. Shifting gears to the PlayStation 4, we have have other titles I've given a number to go. I talked about how Crash 4, and if I will address that more when I get a chance. Other ones I've been playing are other free titles include the Simon the Club Man of Madon, which is pretty decent, if I'm being totally honest. Arcade Getting, which is okay. And The Artful Escape, which I'll definitely do another video on just on its own, but it's definitely the game that no straight road should have been, which makes me another segue into the, the less pleasant topics because I didn't want to address here. So. Mm. Earlier this year, the, the Return to Monkey Island game was revealed, and in my case, 
stealth dropped in the Nintendo oh, Direct Act Partner Showcase. I wasn't aware what was happening, and I admittedly have mixed feelings towards the visual style, but I'm hoping the human gameplay make up for it. I'm think in fact I'm pretty sure most people would suggest that. However, one would hope that other fans, especially in the sense of being that being short for fanatics, would have just has left it alone and gone on with their lives. They did not. Instead, they went after her series co-creator Ron Gilbert and and other people working in the game, posting. Deriv and so posting derogatory remarks that I will not be sharing here. But I will be sharing this excerpt that he pointed out in the wake of the criticism. Um, stating that I won't be posting any more about the game on my blog. The joy of sharing has been driven from me. And I've mentioned this before. But I best mention it again. And there is a fine line between being critical... Of something and being hostile about it and it's definitely been crossed. Oh, I mean, I'm one of those people that's going to wait and see hey, how the game's received, artwork aside, because it's not even the first time I'm it's changed by any means. I I know I like the original style of the original games on PC as well. I have also rather enjoyed some of the spin-offs as well as like how Telltale's Tales of Monkey Island looked as well. I mean, I mean, I'm also having experience with like the special editioning of the the original games, but I think Dominic Amato had a pretty solid take on the more hostile I all responses, I mean Wherever you want Monkey Island to be, I'm going to go out there and suggest to make this a chore and then enjoy it for the devs. It's a quick way to ensure that it won't be anything for anybody. And as someone who is not really like using like the chore criticism at all, all, I think that's actually a very good point to make. I mean, I mean, it's okay to have experience with the artwork, but when you go this route, basically taking the nuclear option would suggest that, that people doing this are not in the right in this at all. It's the same reason why I refused to take part in the hurt in the hurt in the Dex boycott, I mean, and uh, because of that hostility, to say the least. Yeah. Last, but definitely not least, is a new console centered around Web three and NFTs. When losing millions of dollars in XFINITY simply isn't enough, it is known as the Polium. Um, which is tentatively slated to release in 2025, and I gotta say, it's a major press X to doubt moment on that one. And since basically the white papers are just a bunch of buzzwords seem cobbled together, there are, I mean, there are like a lot of other ones of this nature, it seems like a glorified pyramid scheme with the creators on top of the pyramid. I mean, you know, when other people are trying to sell things like, say, hey, time pieces or weight loss shakes, they at least still have a product that's already ready to go before they start trying to get people in on the scheme. Him. They, what they've got is basically like a vendor that is potentially legally problematic, more than one, and, and I am not on board for anything other than like the whole laughing and joking about it as I'm known to be. Hey, I mean, since, yeah, I mean, I don't think it's going to be replacing anything like a Switch or a PS5 or an Xbox Series, anyone's wish list, let alone on more niche consoles like the Steam Deck or the Odin and either so. Anyway, that's about all for now, and I will see you all again soon. Take care, everyone. Mm.